Oh man, I hate peanuts. Let's order a, another video card. Well packed, I think this probably would have sufficed, just the bubble wrap, and uh, could have done without the peanuts, but whatever. Let me get this box out of the way and we will open this up and test it out. Now this is real good. Wrapping it up in styrofoam, no, no static free bag. Lovely. But it is another uh, MSI 5450 video card that I'll be putting in a Dell Optiplex GX620. So, great. Well, it was packed well. I'm sure it'll work once I get it installed. I'm going to have to, again, modify it for a low profile setup. But, yep, it's got the uh, DVI, HDMI, and VGA. So, I will be putting it in here. This one has no fan because this is the one that I had an issue with uh, in shipping that was damaged due to lack of packaging material. If you won't remember, uh, that was what, last month? This is March. Yeah, it happened in February. So, yeah, let me get this open. I can't do it with one hand. All right, so this one's real limited. I'm going to be using both slots, the PCI Express and the other one next to it, which looks like an AGP, but won't be using that uh, connection. So let me find some brackets from my old box here. Let's see, I already used the brackets in there. This one's got brackets, so let me open it up. Yep, here they are. That's what I need. So I can make it a low profile. And we'll go ahead and get these two plates out of the way. Make room. Okay, and by the way, this is uh, another com office computer that's already been converted to Windows 10. And yeah, it's only 32-bit as well, unfortunately, because yeah, the limitation of these processors and uh, chipset and all that, I cannot use 64-bit so far. All my computers are just too old, I guess, to handle 64-bit Windows 10. But if they run 32-bit, and again, this, these are strictly office computers, then that's good enough for me. Now, this one was a bit of a pain in the ass. Had a different style bracket to get off of there, which connected to that hole right there on the underside. So, but I got it. So now let me go ahead and get these things modified and uh, get this card inserted. All right, well, brackets are on. Of course, I can't hold it with one hand trying to get them lined up, so I'm just going to go ahead and insert it in the computer here. So let me go ahead and get the main card lined up and in like that. Next will be the VGA. A little something like that. And then that snaps in place like that. All right, perfect fit. So there you go. The DVI and HDMI are in one slot and the VGA is in the other. So I'll be hooking up my trusty old European plug powered monitor and Yep, I think we are set. Move some junk here and let's fire it up. Here it is, Dell. Still booting. Yeah, these uh, old Dell systems are slow. Yeah, it's still configuring. Yeah, it's the first time it's been turned on since it got upgraded to Windows 10, so yeah, let it take its time. 
76%, come on, you can do it, 83. All right, well, we got to 100, all right, RVR, excellent. Well, cool, so I know it works. And, yep, everything is nice and secure, so awesome, looks good. And real quick, there's the specs. It's Windows 10 Home Edition. That's what originally was on this thing. 32-bit operating system, 4 gigs of RAM, but only 3.5 usable due to limitations of the Dell, as I mentioned. Pentium 4, 3.2. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for the specs of this thing. So, I guess we'll just wrap this up. Another video card test and install for Windows 10 upgrade. And, uh, yep. So this will be number three. I'll probably do a few more, you know, in the future, but right now I'm kind of at a standstill until I start replacing, you know, computers that I'm currently using with Windows 10 or Windows 7 for Windows 10. So anywho, we'll just wrap up this uh, install video and thanks for watching. Oh yes, test the lid. Perfect. Perfect fit.